United with Christ. Meet local churches with open doors, serving throughout the Border Valley community, and sharing the truth and hope of God's love and salvation. A presentation by KSE Channel 38 Christian Television. And now, United with Christ. Good morning. Uh, welcome to this program, United with Christ. We're very happy to be here. We want to welcome you. We want to bless you. And we're going to ask you to stay in this channel. Call some friends. We're going to be talking about very important topics. My name is Betty Stangolini, the director of the Justice House of Prayer. We call JHAP. Justice House of Prayer, and I have the honor to have two amazing people that I love very much. This is Ivy Roberts, the co-director of the uh, Healing Rooms. Ivy? Hello, it's nice to be with you today. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Betty. And I want to introduce also Eddie De Castro. He is the director of the Healing Rooms. Hello, how are you? I'm so happy to be here. Hope you get blessed. Well, as I mentioned before, um, take your cup of coffee, be relaxed, have your Bible next to you, and we are going to present again the healing rooms that are about to be open in the Justice House of Prayer. What are the healing rooms? Healing rooms is nothing else than some rooms that we occupy to pray for the sick. Well, it's a way to say it, but Healing Rooms is really uh, a place where we want to pray for you. We want to pray for your physical healing, emotional uh, healing, spiritual healing. And it, there is a team of people that we are praying and fasting and yes, lift them up to God. Every person that is sick and would like to come to be prayed over, we do believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, when he told us, go and lay hands on the sick and they will recover, we do believe that that's the word of God and that is possible. I know many of us say, well, I pray, I pray, nothing happened. But you know what? When the saints come together, when we persevere and ask, God hears us. He hears us when we pray in the name of Jesus. And we have many testimonies of people being healed. And I'm going to give you my own personal testimony. But before that, I would like Ivy to share some scriptures. Um, Ivy, would you like to share some scriptures about healing? Of course. As they shared last week on the program that we operate under a Healing Rooms Center out of Spokane, Washington. It's a wonderful ministry that has been reopened since 1999. And we just wanted to let you know that it is a ministry that is based on the Word of God. And um, we just wanted to share some of the scriptures, their basic scriptures that they believe in and we believe in and we operate in. So I'm going to read some of these because it's... Um, from quotes from the New King James, and I don't want to misquote them, so I'm going to read them for you. One of the main ones is Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. We need a little explanation here so that it's understood a little bit better in our current English language, because the Hebrew words mean really a little bit different than what they're listed in the New King James. I'll explain some of them to you. Grief means sickness. Sorrow means pain. Wounded means pierced through. Bruised means crushed. And stripes means blows that cut in. So a more accurate reading of this scripture in a English language that we would better understand reads this way. Surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. Yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by God and afflicted, but he was pierced through for our transgressions. 
he was crushed for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes, which are blows that cut into his flesh, we are healed. This scripture was confirmed in Matthew 8, 17, where it referred back to Isaiah 53, 4, saying that Jesus fulfilled what was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah. It's interesting to note that the word fulfill is applied as an action that lasts throughout the church age, not just what Jesus did when he walked this earth. Another scripture that confirms Isaiah 53 is 1 Peter 2, 24. It starts out by saying, he bore our sins in his own body on the tree. And it ends by saying, whose stripes we were healed. A couple of other scriptures are Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. And Psalm 103, 1 through 3, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all our iniquity and heals all our diseases. So you see, all of our ministry that we do is according to the word of God. And we appreciate that so much of the teaching and training that we have received and that we will impart to you as you come as a participant. Thank you so much. So Ivy, we are talking about Isaiah 53. Literally, he bore our infirmities and he got the pain upon him. So we carry infirmities here on earth, but we can always pray. We can always claim this promise. And God is faithful. God is going to alleviate the pain. He's going to restore our bodies. He will give us the strength when we have to go to, through treatments that are probably painful or difficult. Um, would you like to share something with us, Eddie, this morning? Eddie is the director of the Healing Rooms. Yes. I just want to share, share an account, a testimony about my healing. I have had several healings in my life, miraculous healings, undoubtedly. And we were uh, gutting a building to build a sanctuary. And the inside partitions were offices, walls for offices. And we, took, we had to take the walls down and uh, take the insulation out. Everybody was avoiding the insulation because, you know, after a while working with that, you start itching and you feel like a dog with fleas and a touch of the mange. And I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I'll do the insulation, but you'd get, I ask you that you will heal me from the itching and the discomfort. So I started taking the insulation at night. I took a shower and I was scratching and itching and couldn't sleep. And I can't remember what I said to the Lord, but the power of God came descended upon me and took all the discomfort, all the itching away, and I was totally healed. I have many other healings in my life, but I want to assure you, I want to give you a scripture that assures you how God is willing to act and do when you ask him. I'm reading out of the Expanded Bible. It's a 2011 version published by Thomas Nelson. It's like the Amplified Bible. And I'm reading on Matthew 18, 18 through 20. Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 to 20. I tell you the truth, the things whatsoever you do not allow, forbid and bind on earth, will be the things that God does not allow, forbid bound in heaven. And the things whatever you allow, permit, loose on the earth, will be the things that God allows, permits, and loses in the heaven. So it says here that we have the power to stop something, to make a disease stop, and we can have the same power to release the healing for people. And uh, verse 19 says, also again I tell you that if two of you on the earth agree about something and pray for it for which you have asked, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. 
So if two of us agree upon anything, it will be done by his Father that is in heaven. This is true because if two or three people come are assembled, gathered together in my name, I am here with them, among them in their midst. So we have a tremendous assurance that when we have the power of agreement, we agree with somebody, bind or loose, permit or allow, or forbid, God is going to answer our prayers. I want to read out of Numbers 23.19. Number 23.19 out of the expanded Bible again. God is not a human being and he will not lie. He's not a human being and he does not change his mind. What he will do, what he says he will do, will he not do it? What he promises, he makes come true. Will he not fulfill, make it, make it come true? In other words, God in his word has said that he's willing to heal us and he's willing to answer our prayers when we agree with each other. And uh, he's not a liar and he's not a human that will change his mind. Amen. So my friends, what we are seeing here is all these scriptures that we were talking about are promises. We just not only hear it or read it, we can claim those promises. If you are a little child and your father promised you to take you to the movies and it doesn't happen this weekend and then comes the next weekend, won't you remind me, hey, daddy, you promised me to take me to the movies. You know, you're like a little child. Or fate must be like a little child. My father told me he is going to answer my prayers. He is going to uh, honor my, my faith. If you don't have faith, the word says, ask, ask, and he it will be given to you. So my friends, I uh, encourage you, encourage you to take these promises. I hope you wrote, wrote those down. Take those promises, talk to God and tell him, Father, you told me this is your promise and you are not a man to lie. You are, you are a God and you honor your word. And uh, we will come back with some amazing testimony. I am a witness of my own healing, but I will share that with you in a few minutes. Now we're going to a musical and we'll come back. You can call to the numbers in the screen. Call, there's people to answer your prayers, uh, your request for prayer. So call and ask for prayer. God bless you. We'll see you in a minute. Well, my friends, we are happy to be here in Channel 38. Channel 38 is a great blessing. Not every city has a Christian channel. We're going to invite you to give a donation of $25, and you will receive this book. This is an amazing book, Treasures from the Cross. So for a donation of $25, you can get this book. So call right now, call and ask for prayer, call and give your donations. You can make your checks payable to KSE. You can mail it out to 2201 Wyoming, El Paso, Texas, 79903, or you can donate online. It is www.ksetv.com. So my friends, Let's donate today and let's bless this channel. Um, well, we were talking about healing. I want to share my testimony. About five years ago, I was diagnosed uh, because I have some bleeding. I was diagnosed with a growth in my uterus. And of course, the uterus doesn't grow. What happened is um, there's growths like kind of tumors. And they don't know if it's good or bad tumors, cancerous or not, but it was growth in my uterus. So I went to the doctor. Uh, they made all kinds of expensive, you know, exams and um, many things. And they told me, we have to go, you have to go to surgery and we have to remove your uter uterus and this is as soon as possible. Well, I was not happy with that. So I went to another doctor. I took all the examinations, all the... Um, results and they told me exactly the same thing and they told me we need to uh, go through you need to go through surgery and you know what friends in the meantime I was praying I asked I didn't ask to everybody to pray for me but the intercessors that I know that they pray and they believe in healing because it is important who do you tell don't tell everybody and will say oh poor you poor you but people that will pray for you, that will believe with you for healing. 
Well, I had the opportunity to go to the healing rooms in New Mexico, in Albuquerque, and they pray for me also about that situation. And then I was waiting to have, you know, money or whatever, so I didn't go like for a year with the doctor. I was just trusting. I'm not advising you not to go to the doctor. My situation was different. I didn't have insurance, and I was um, just, just waiting. Well, my sister uh, sold her house, so she had money. And one day she come and get me, made the appointment with the doctor, took all my, my results of the tests and everything. And she said, I have the money. If the doctor says, lady, you have to go to surgery right now. She said, I'm going to put you in the hospital. I'm, I'm going to pay for it. So we went to the doctor. He uh, reviewed all the tests, all, all the uh, results of the test and he made other tests and you know what happened she said I don't know what happened I don't have a way to explain it but your uterus is totally normal normal it's no growth it's normal size and I won't see you till next year so how and in what moment I was healed you know what I have no shadow of doubt. There's no explanation physically talking that the uterus or any organ having tumors will just downsize by itself. There's no way. It was the power of God. I was believing. Yeah, there is inside of you like kind of little fear like, oh God, what's going to happen? Because we see so many people victims of cancer. They die, they suffer. But you know what, my friends? It, even if it is in the first stages, middle stage, or the final stages, we have the word of God. We can tell Father, this is your promise, and claim the word. Speak it aloud. That's very important that you speak aloud the word. Uh, this word that I will share, Isaiah 53, you can Take your Bible and you pray every day. You can put your hand in the, in the organ that is affected. If it's your head or mental illness in your son or sister, mother or, or any person in yourself. And then you start claiming the word of God, saying the word of God with all your heart. And you know what? The word of God is powerful. The, the word says in Hebrews 4.12, the word of God is alive and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword. It is actually a sword. When you use the word, it's a sword. What happened when that tumor downside disappeared, melted, or whatever happened, and I was totally healed? The word of God increased my faith. I didn't have enough faith, but the faith of my brothers and sisters. So, Ivy, I would like you to explain. Once we open the healing rooms, we're about to open it. Once we open the healing room, what people can come and uh, expect? Well, let me share that with them. And wasn't that a wonderful testimony? Thank you, Lord. And you can come with faith for your healing, too. We wanted you to know what you can expect when you come, when you come through the doors for the healing rooms. You would be greeted by a receptionist. She would greet you warmly and tell you where to sit down comfortably and give you a form to fill out. On that form, you would just share what it is that you would like the Father, Father God, and the Holy Spirit to do for you that day. And then when you have finished that, one of the team members will come and take that paper from you and take it to another room where the team will pray over it and ask if there's a download from the Lord that he would like to share something specific. And while you are waiting for your turn, you will be uh, um, ushered into a, a special area, a room where you will uh, listen to some worship music, perhaps have some um, literature there that would help build your faith, maybe some more testimonies that are written down or some more scriptures that would build your faith while you're waiting. Then when it is your turn, someone from the team will come and get you. It's usually a three-person team and then they will pray over you for your request with faith. And it's usually just a short time, not too long, and when, you, when they are done, they'll give you some instruction to take home with you to help with the healing process. Your belief system can grow and grow and grow. 
and then you can come back any time. It, it doesn't have to be just one time. If you want to come back, the doors are open any time that, that we are open for you to, we welcome you back any time. So thank you. Yes, we will be giving more information about the healing rooms, the place, the uh, address, the times, the days. Uh, Eddie, would you like to share what is the mission, the mission of the healing rooms? Yes, our mission is to serve the community and the body of Christ while contending for, what all, for all that Christ has promised, the church. He said that the works I do, I sh I, you shall also do, and greater works than these. We minister the salvation message, the healing word, the anointing that empowers the word, prayer and deliverance of the sick, and impartation for healing to the local church. I want to say that the healing room is not only for safe people, people that are having a relationship with Christ, but we welcome everyone. Whether you're with Christ or not, we pray for all that come to the healing room. So my friends, you have those four numbers in the screen. Call that number. There's people that love to pray. They will be praying for your needs. And we want to encourage you to use the word of God, to go to the cross because Jesus Christ of Nazareth already paid for you, for your sickness, for your pain, for your problems. So come to the cross, come to Jesus. He is the only hope that we have. And uh, I want to encourage you also to get your word, read the word aloud, and remind God this is your promise, Jesus. And you promise me that you will be with me all the days of my life until the end. This is the promise of Jesus to his church. So we want to encourage you. We want to thank uh, Channel 38. We will be here next Tuesday. We will be talking more about healing, about the healing rooms, how we want to uh, serve you praying for you, for your family, for your problems, for the sick. And God bless you. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you for watching United with Christ. We pray this has been a blessing to you, and we invite you to tune in again tomorrow. We invite your comments, questions, or prayer requests. You may contact us at KSE Christian Television, 2201 East Wyoming Avenue, El Paso, Texas, 79903. Or call us at 915-532-8588 during regular business hours. Or you can visct our website at www.kscetv.com. God bless you.